Okay, what we, uh, what I'm going to talk about is the deterministic diffusion LRM's guys. The model is quite simple. I don't have a picture for you, but it's a lattice of hard disk. Uh, it is a lattice of hard disk disks that are arranged in a tri triangular lattice. And here uh, I will only consider a case where Lorentz gas has a finite horizon, uh, which happens when the separation between the disk is small enough. And here we, uh, we consider that the radius of the disk is equal to 1. So when uh, the horizon is finite, uh, we do not have any trajectories that uh, have infinite calculation was done long ago in 1959. And in that calculation, the, the very first calculation, they considered that uh, the diffusion process is just a random walk between the triangle traps uh, that, uh, uh, that are produced by uh, free spaces on, this, on, on the uh, hard disk lattice. So, for this calculation, we just have to calculate the distance between traps and the mean lifetime of trap. Uh, and the mean lifetime of a trap can be uh, estimated by considering which time, uh, which part of the phase space uh, of a particle inside a trap escapes uh, from the trap. But this result is, is not very precise, and it's problem that we, it relies on the fact that m the process of work is a Markov process, and which is not um, which is not true for si significantly a big uh, big values of the separation between the disks. It only it only works for the separations which are very small. The, another way to calculate this is to uh, this coefficient is to make a cycle exp ex expansion, uh, which is a standard way of doing things in nonlinear dynamics. So to study diff diffusion, we just have to look at this quantity which is a translation between uh, translation ve uh, vector between ele elementary cells in which the particle is uh, at some moment of time t. And for this ve uh, for this this quantity we can write an uh, evolution operator and uh, we can look at its uh, a leading eigenvalue, and from this we can just, just describe a diffusion coefficient. And this, everything here can be rewritten through and expressed in terms of zeta function, and in terms of the, its derivatives. But uh, this, all these formulas are written only uh, not for element, uh, not for a fundamental domain, domain, but for an elementary cell. And the resu possible results we can get from them are not very precise. The problem lies in in these weights. In these weights, as you can see, these weights are not symmetrical, uh, are not invariant under group action. So for uh, so uh, each each kind of cycle can be uh, reproduced by by rotating it or flipping it, and in a, for an elementary cell, there are many copies of practically the same cycle, just with different uh, values of this uh, of, of this uh, translational vector. And the, the real development of 
such uh, such approach will be rewriting these weights in terms of fundament, uh, weights in fun fundamental domain. And the problem we have to overcome is answering the question how to write, how to correspond a one way for a cycle in fundamental domain to a whole bunch of, uh, to a whole family of these vectors and, and P. After it will be done, we will be able not to just expand zeta function because it's already can be done. And we'll, we will be able to factorize it, this uh, spectral determinant. And this, uh, after f and this technique gives us a, a better convergence, much better convergence and much better precision than the techniques uh, that can be done for now. And how about how we, c we calculate cycles and how it's and results that unknown, unknown, I think Tingle will tell you. Questions?